So you have a plethoric collection of manuscript. I would like you to describe the emotion of possessing so many témoignages of writings. Look, it's. Um, I mean, I, I seldom. I, I very often say that um, it's the closest bond that you can establish with someone who died much before you were born. You know, you are holding a piece of paper that he has held as well, where he has spent perhaps 15 minutes of his time. If the content of the letter, which is what excites collectors, is important, sometimes he has solved a dilemma or he has taken a very important decision with that document, and it's now in your hands. You know, so it's like a, a slice the frozen slice of this guy's life. And if it's Proust or Emily Dickinson or Newton or Freud or, or Darwin or Van Gogh or Gauguin or Napoleon, you know, you're, you're part of history. You hold a, a, a moment of history and um, it's, a, it's an incredible emotion and it's a great privilege. So you gave me the example of Freud. Yes. Tell okay. me. No, I, I particularly like one thing that I'm showing at the morning, which is a small card for an American psychoanalyst who was uh, under analysis with him in 34, and he says, 20 hours, 2,000 shillings. It's a summary of uh, psychoanalysis in a way. <laughs> what about Napoleon? Napoleon, uh, the doodles, you know, in a very boring uh, sort of meeting where he had to appoint uh, the seats of uh, archbishops in, in, in Italy, and then he doodles some uh, it looks like fortresses and things like that. So Napoleon's doodles. I mean, I have about uh, uh, a few dozen documents by Napoleon of many moments of his life, but I thought the doodles was what I, what has not been shown before for and this exhibition. One, one of the very important character is uh, oh la la, but we are here. Bonjour. Bonjour Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> the director, the president of Musée Picasso. Of Musée Picasso, well, qui est au téléphone, is Paris. which is uh, uh, on the phone, like uh, like all so, but busy Parisians. Let's finish with Proust. Don't, uh, so you know, I mean, yes, Proust. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to be able to to buy a very significant letter when I was 19 in New York for a fortune for me at the time, $200. It was half my budget for spending a month in New York in 19, uh, 19 what? 79 or 78, yeah, 77. <laughs> so it's a long time ago. I'm 60 now and I started at 10, this passion. So it's been 50 years of enormous, small and great joys, you know, and it has brought me, it has enhanced my life much more than a hobby or should uh, normally <laughs> enhance one's life. I think I was very fortunate. Merci.